Hello, I'm Abyx Toycat, and welcome back to the video. Today, we're to talk about the igloos in Minecraft. They're a brand new feature from TU43. They seem like they're relatively simple on the surface, but truth be told, they're one of the more complex structures, as well as one of the rarest ones that you can currently find in Minecraft console. And if you wonder what I mean by that, basically, there's a lot of secret loot that can be found in 50% of igloos, but then in those 50% of igloos, those secrets sometimes have secrets, and it just kind of goes in lots of layers. And I'll just share all of the information about their loot, their, how you find them, and stuff like that in today's video. So, hopefully, you'll do enjoy today's igloo video. If you do like it, like the video, let me know because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like this sort of video but with that said let's get straight into it shall we so let's start by talking about i guess uh, you know how you would find an igloo because there are two types of igloo you can find they're both found in the same places which is two specific biomes so those two specific biomes are ice plains biome which are really easy to spot because it's just you know relatively low uh, you know land covered in snow like this and the other type of biome you can find them in is uh cold tiger so cold tiger is any form of you know spruce forest that has snow on top you can find um you know regular tiger biomes that don't have cold uh, you know snow on top of them but if it has snow on top of it you can find igloos there you can't find them in uh, ice mountains and stuff like that you have to look around either these forests where they're pretty rare or you can look on an ice plains biome so that's how you find your igloos and again like i mentioned you can find them in two varieties there's the really boring type which would just look like this uh so just to clarify this is one i built myself this is one that's born naturally but yeah this is one i built myself just to show that oh yeah 50 percent of igloos are just really dull and boring it's just a bed it's a crafting table a redstone torch and a uh you know a furnace if you're wondering why it's a redstone torch it's because it lights up the place but it's not bright enough to melt the ice. Fun little fact there. But yeah, some of these are just like this where there's nothing below the, uh, you know, the snow. It's just snow and then, oh, it's nothing below that. So yeah, these are really dull and boring and they're a nice source of a bed and a crafting table. But beyond that, they're just a weird structure you can find. The other type of igloo is much cooler, however, because it is the igloo which spawns with stuff on the inside. So uh, as you can see, it looks like this and you'll be able to tell if it's, you know, spawned above something because you can actually see a big stone, uh, you know, brick tower coming off it. But if you can't see that because it's perfectly on the ground, you know, in an ice plains or something like that, then all you have to do is head inside and break a single bit of carpet and you'll find a trap door under this bit here so yeah the, the top floor of this place is pretty much the same we got ourselves a bed we've got ourselves a crafting table a redstone torch and a furnace again so exciting right like furnaces I, i've always wanted one of those but if you actually then go below the trap door then as you are all, all probably aware you go into this little long stone uh, stone corridor and about you know 15 20 blocks down you will find yourself something i find rather cool because it is a basement which will have two villagers or a villager which will always be a priest by the way and a zombie villager which um you know interesting enough by itself but then you realize that there's a brewing stand here which always has one potion which is the splash potion of weakness which can can be used to uh, convert the zombie and you also have just on the left here a uh, you know a chest which always contains at least one golden apple so on top of containing a golden apple this chest can contain coal in stacks of up to four this is the most likely drop at 75 percent uh, apple can be found again about three quarters of the time in stacks up to three then below that you've got about just over a half chance of finding up to four separate individual stacks of wheat and you've got a chance of finding up to three individual stacks of gold nuggets again just over 50 percent chance you've got about 57 percent chance of finding a single bit of rotten flesh because i guess reference the zombie and you've also got yourself a very very tiny chance of finding either a stone axe which is about one in every uh, you know seven of these will have those and one in every 12 or one in every 14 somewhere in that ballpark of the uh, igloos you find will have an emerald in there too again just a single emerald lots of really bizarre stuff like if you look at this item these items they're not really worth anything like apples are nice when you're you know hungry like i am like oh yeah look how exciting these apples are but beyond that it's just like oh this is a bizarre chest that just has stuff that i'm not really too sure i want but what it does have that's exciting is a golden apple and the splash potion so if you've never done this before you throw the splash potion at a villager you throw the golden apple emma and it will actually convert him but if you don't want to do that if you have enough villagers then you can just let this one go or leave him i guess uh, and you can just take your golden apple and be on your merry way and eat it yourself so yeah that's pretty cool basically igloos are a source of golden apples or a source of brand new villagers depending on which way you want to look at it but they're also a source of lots of other things because like i said there's secrets in this secret because on top of the fact that you can always get a golden apple there's also a few other secrets around here so you might spot that there's red carpet in the corner if you break the red carpet you'll find for some reason a andes a polished andesite block no idea why it's polished andesite but that's what this is and just over here as you can see a single one of them which is the only time you can find this in the wild so again bizarre little fact about the igloos no idea why that's there it must have some later significance but there's only a single one of them in the entire build but the other cool little secret about this place is the fact that you if uh, some of these uh, stone bricks around you will actually be monster eggs which will only normally spawn in strongholds and uh I think sometimes you'll find them in, uh, you know, like uh, extreme hills, but you can actually find them in your igloos too. So if you just uh, punch around the place, you'll eventually find a monster egg, which means that silverfish will spawn in the place where, oh, 
Well, <laughs> Silverfish will sometimes spawn in the place where well, uh, he spawned, but then vanished. Uh, oh, oh, this is another monster egg just over here. As you can see, another Silverfish. And if we actually uh, punch him, it'll call to all Silverfish around the area, and uh, that'll be a cool little thing. So, yeah, have you ever wanted to get Silverfish more often? I know the answer to that question is no, but if you wanted to get them, then guess what? Then you can now find them in Igloos. So, yeah, like I mentioned, really, really bizarre secrets going on here. There's a bunch of different items you can find around the place, and it really is just an opportunity to get a lot of different stuff. You've got access to a cauldron here, you've got access to a plant pot with a cactus in, which means that you don't actually need a desert now if you want to get a cactus, because you can find them in igloos, bizarrely enough. Again, bizarre little fact that might come in handy if you have a very icy map with no deserts. Uh, as well as that, though, you get access to a sign, a torch, some cobwebs, which can, again, be silk touched up, um, as well as just a bunch of different stuff that, again, might be of interest. Oh, we got another monster egg just down there. Might be of interest of you, it might not be, but I figured I would mention that the igloo has a bunch of different weirdities to it, and I think it's going to have some significance in the future, because there's so much just weird stuff going on here. Again, the access to the cactus, the, the cauldron, the fact that there's a single polished andesite, you know, the fact that there is two villagers trapped in cages. I think, again, this is something that might have significance in the future, because it's just super, super weird right now, and I figured I'd mention all of the weird bits you might like. So, yeah, come here if you want to get access to a lot of mundane items that you don't necessarily have. You know, get your yourself a free crafting table, get yourself a free sign, a free trapdoor, some free carpet as it turns out if you're really into that. There's a bunch of free stuff you can get from uh, the igloo and uh, yeah, it's only 50% of the time and I figured I'd mention that in today's video. So I hope you did all enjoy it, hope you learned something about igloos, whether it's uh, the fact that they always have a golden apple 100% of the time, whether it's the fact that only 50% of igloos are even worth visiting or maybe it's just how you find them. But if you did all like the video, like and let me know because that helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like igloos. Share the video if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel and if you subscribe you'll see those daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching and goodbye.